Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with day 16 of May I Scrap Lift You. And you're already going to have seen a scrap lift from me today, um, but that's okay because today officially is supposed to be for Tara, which is um, on Instagram, it's Crips972, but on um, YouTube, it is the Paper Snob. And so I selected a layout to scrap lift of hers, and she used 49 in Market, the Plum Grove, and no matter how hard it is for both of us to cut into it, this was my way to encourage me to do it because I wanted to... Um, pretty much recreate our layout because I love it so much. So I've got a couple of different of the paper packs. I've got the rub-ons, the ephemera. These are my scraps right here. And the background paper is, I think, the same paper she used. Um, it looks pretty much the exact same. So um, I'm going to try and get some of these things used up. Certainly not all of them because, well, nope. <laughs> So I've got my papers, my embellishments, um, I've got this picture that I want to get documented that I just took today, and this awesome layout by Tara, so let's see how this goes. So my scraps that I had were absolutely perfect, except it's a little bit too close to the same color of the background paper. And I picked the background paper because it's the brownish color. And brown's not my favorite, although it's still a gorgeous page. Um, it was a little easier for me to use. And the good thing is, I know you all understand what I'm saying. <laughs> because these papers for $49 a market, man. That's like, do you really want to use your product or you just want us to buy it all and just ooh over it? I mean, really. So what I have done so far is I distressed the edges of this, um, I think it's 8 inches, of course, by 12. And I distressed the sides and then I just hit it up with a little black soot, just enough. Like, it, I didn't even get any ink from the ink pad. I just had whatever was left over on my dauber, just because I wanted it to be a light inking. I just wanted it to kind of be set aside, set apart. And then I'm going to tuck these purple strips that were also from a scrap to help um, define that difference between that midsection and the background paper. And I distressed that as well. And initially I didn't distress that inside purple paper where the picture is going to be matted, but I pulled that off and distressed it because everything else was, why not? And um, I'm pretty sure Tara did as well. So I'm going to title this Grateful. This picture is of um, a chunk of my staff at the school that I work at. And we just went bowling and had a staff um, appreciation um, adventure today and so literally just took this picture mm, it's 11 o'clock right now as I'm doing the voiceover so it's just been like four hours ago so um, we had a fabulous time and so I wanted to document it and since it's the group shot I figured that could go on a individual page of its own so I decided to use rub-ons because Tara's got a um, floral cluster over there on the left side. And I didn't get the floral cluster with the plum grove. Should have, but didn't. And so instead, I'm just going to use the um, rub-ons, rub them onto this white cardstock, and then I'm going to fussy cut out all the things. Fussy cutting is not my favorite. And I did just spend two hours playing bowling. I almost said playing bowling, guys. <clears throat> yep. You see how often I do it. Um, bowling, which means my wrist is already a little me, but it was worth it because the way they turned out, I love them. So I just fussy cut around all the little florals that I cut out. And so I'm just working on building. So now I am taking my um, you pick tool, which is a Stampin' Up tool, and I am punching holes in my layout so that I can stitch. <laughs> now, my lovely friend Tara stitches on almost every layout and it is beautiful, stunning. I love the look of stitching on a layout. I really do. And this paper is perfect for it. 
because it's so thick. Um, but I don't do it very often. I have carpal tunnel. I've mentioned it before. But um, in honor of my friend Tara, I stitched all the way across. No fancy stitching. Just literally in, out, in, you know, whatever. And um, other than that, I can, cro I can do a cross stitch because... I used to do them when I was a kid, but, um, yep, this is about as good as it gets for me, you all. So, now I am, after I got done stitching and fussy cutting all of the rub-ons out, I also pulled that double floral that's right there, the dark purple and the pink. I fussy cut that out of the cover page of one of the paper packs because I needed something with a little bit more size and that was going to be perfect for me. Um, and I'm going to just build the cluster there. So I took a break um, from recording, called my mama, which I call her every night at 9.15. So if I'm in the middle of recording when my alarm goes off, I usually will take a break unless I'm almost done and then call my mom on the phone. So, um, anyway, so I'm just building up that cluster and what I want to do is my cluster is not going to be as tall as Tara's. Hers goes up a little further. Um, I think like up into the actual main page. Yes, I can see <laughs> the little picture I put up in the top. Bless my heart. Um, so mine does not go that far up. Um, and I'm okay with that. I love how condensed it kind of is. And right there, um, it's not pulling any attention away from the picture. I don't think hers is either. I mean, her picture is fabulous. It's her and her kiddo. And I think that's amazing. I love it. Um, my picture is a picture of me and my coworkers bowling, like I said, and I'm of course not adding any kind of bowling motif or themey stuff on this layout. This is going to go in my chronological book. I will make some more, um, layouts to go in the book of, that I'm making for my school. Um, I mean, it's for me really, but it's of things that happen at my school and I'll probably take it up there. Well, I will take it up there for people to see, but anywho. So, um, this is just, um, this is the majority of the people who were there. There were probably f six or seven people who had already left by the time we got into taking pictures. Um, I mean, I took pictures all night. Y'all probably see them coming for up soon. I've got Mother's Day pictures that I want to get um, documented. And then pictures from this fun time. Uh, we have eight days before school's out. This group of teachers needed a break. It's not all teachers. There's admin staff and office staff. Mm, I think that's everybody. Just lots of people who need a break, you all. Phew. I love working at a school more than anything I've ever done. But it at this time of year, it's it's exhausting, <laughs> to say the very least. So I love the way this turned out. Tara is an inspiration. I love she encourages me sometimes for good and sometimes for bad. If I ever ask her <laughs> if I should buy something, she I definitely know she's going to say yes. So if I really want to buy something, she's the one I ask. <laughs> And she'll tell me. I'm not the person to ask that question to. <laughs> um, but it did encourage me to get out my Plum Grove. I have a hard time using 49 in Market. I just ordered the new um, Cocoa Vanilla from Scrapping Reflections. I have a feeling that I'm going to have a hard time with that too. Because they're just so pretty. But it's okay. I'm, my goal is to use the stuff you all. So here it is close up. I really love how this turned out. Thank you, Tara, for always encouraging me and inspiring me. I hope you'll go check her out. She will be listed below as well as the playlist. Um, I should be on there. So go check out the May I Scrap Lift You playlist. Have a great day. Hope to see you again tomorrow and happy scrapping.